hello everyone you're welcome back to this channel what i have today is how to show you another easiest way of cutting a female dress a female a beautiful female dress and uh, i want to assure you in this video that you gain a lot just take your time and watch this video to the end thanks now i have my fabric here this fabric is folded into four pieces as you can see right here this is one two three and four so now i'm going to measure what i have as the width of this so the one quarter of the width of this um, fabric is 15 inches so i have it 15 inches this is 15 inches now for the length the length here i have i have 41 inches 41 inches can you see so the length actually depends on you what you want to measure so and also the weight so right now we are going to go now the first thing i'm going to do right now is to measure the half cut now i'll be using 13 inches as my half cut oh, let me use 13.5 as my half cut so i'm going to measure 13.5 so i have it here then i also extend it to this end and I mark 13.5 so 13.5 so I'm going to connect these lines together So as you can see i've connected that line together so the next thing i'm going to do right now is to measure from here i'm going to mark 7.5 inches downwards so i have it here from the shoulder i measure 7.5 inches downwards so the next thing I'm going to do from that point, I'm going to mark. So I'm going to mark like a five inches. Let me mark five inches inward. So I'm marking five inches inward. Can you see? From here, seven point five. Then I mark five inches inward so from this point i'm going to connect to this okay can you see so i've connected to that uh, half cut so the next thing i'm going to do right now is to create a curve here so can you see i've created the curve here which is my hammer okay i've created the curve right here so the next thing i'm going to do right here is from this point here okay now i'm going to connect i'm going to connect from this point to the end there so i just connect straight to the edge there
So can you see I've connected from this end? Sorry, this is not an armhole. I'm connected from the side seam side to the down part. So the next thing I'm going to do right now is to cut it out. So I cut to the down part. So right now, I haven't cut it out as you can see right here. So I'm going to remove this. So, so I'm going to come to this place. I'm going to slash this one into two. just an excess excesses so the next thing i'm going to do right now is to open it up like this so the edge here i'm going to fold one just little two and i go to my machine so right now i'm going to stitch this from one end to the other I haven't completed this the second piece I will also do likewise the edge here so I'm going to fold twice one two so haven't folded it like this so I also run a stitch from one end to the other all right I've come to the conclusion of this tutorial can you see the gown? Here is the neck. Can you see? Now this is the little space I left on the down part of the sleeve. Can you see? Also the other side. Can you see? Very, very easy to make in simple gown, both fitted and smart. Can you see? I hope you have found this tutorial very helpful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. Now, if you have any question regarding this same tutorial or you are confused in any way, just drop your question in the comment section. And uh, if you have any comments, kindly drop your comments as well in the comment section. If you are yet to subscribe to this channel, kindly Click on the subscribe button below and hit on the notification bell. You feel free to share this video out to your loved ones, to your friends out there. Thank you very, very much. So, till I come your way again, bye for now. So as you can see right here, I've stitched the edge, the shoulder sleeve line or edge, can you see, the two on um, both the front and the back panel, can you see. So the next thing I'm going to do right now is to place the two pieces on each other. right side to right side like this so i'm going to seal from from this place i'm going to seal down weight so i will also go to the second place here 
the second side. So I will also seal from this place down downwards. That's the next thing I will be doing right now. Now, as you can see, I seal on um, both sides downward from the sleeve downwards. So the next thing I'm going to do right now is to consider the the sleeve um uh, the round sleeve. So what I'm going to do is is to sew it. So I'm going to fold it little two times. So I'm going to seal like this down to this end. And I'll also repeat it here also. I fold twice, one, two, just little, okay? Then I run a stitch through. Now, as you can see, I've still, I've sealed the down part of the sleeve. Can you see? And also the other side. So the next thing I'm going to do right now is to launch the side. So I'm going to launch the side. So I'll carefully do that. Also go to the second side. I also do likewise. I launch. So, having not the two sides, the next thing I'm going to do right now is to turn it to the right side. So, I'm going to walk on the shoulder line towards the sleeve. So what I'm going to do right now is to fold it into two equal parts so that I can mark the center point. Fold it into two. Okay, can you see? So I'm going to mark the center. This is the center, so I mark it. Now here is my center point. So from this side, from this point, I'm going to mark 5.5 inches towards my right hand side. So I have it right here. Here is 5.5. And also do likewise to this, to this side. I mark 5.5 inches. So this is going to serve as my neckline. Why did the other part, the, the rest of it is going to serve as my sleeve? So right now, I'm going to overlap it like this. Then I pin it down. So, it depends on whichever, whatever um, uh, space you want to leave. 
so in my own case i will be leaving like four inches from this leaf i will mark four inches inwards so i'm going to stop here so here i will overlap it and pin it down to mark the end of where my stitch is going to stop so from this point i'm going to run a stitch flat like this so i will run a stitch to close this side up then i leave this side like i said i see here is going to be my neckline so likewise i'll also go to the other side from the center point i mark 5.5 inches from that point i'm going to overlap it and i pin it down so also i'm going to mark from here i'm going to mark four inches in width like i did to the other side so i'm going to run a stitch from here to this point so here will be left open so i pin it down here Can you see so the next thing after i might have been uh, after being through with this uh, shoulder line the next thing is just to go to the down part and then uh, fold it hem hem it so i'm going to fold it twice one and two so i hemmed the down parts round and that is it